Now the commission is complete and the skirting is toasty and warm, we're going to start the aesthetics. And that starts off with this rubber gasket, the rubber seal that goes around the top of the skirting. The easiest way to get the gasket in, I find, is using a wet wipe. And we're literally just going to be sort of dampening the gasket, if you like. We're going to overhang the gasket, make it slightly longer. Um, and we'll cut that down and come back to that later. So holding the gasket with one hand, hand and the wipe in the other, we're just going to put a bit of lube on the gasket and using your index finger or your thumb, start to insert the gasket into the top channel of the aluminium. When you come to a corner, I just loop the gasket up and I'm going to come back to that and cut that at the angle that I need once I've got the gasket all the way around the room. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next corner. We're going to loop the gasket, insert it into the next piece. I'm going to do this all the way around the room. So as you can see now, we've got the gasket all the way around the room. So using a pair of side snips or wire cutters, we're going to cut the little loop that I've looped over and we're going to start to cut and create the angle of each corner. So this is a 45 degree angle. What we're going to use to get these to, to first of all, match the 45 cut is the little cutters to cut the gasket at 45 degrees, like that. I'm going to send the next one over the top of the first piece and also cut that at 45 degrees. So as you can see, this is now cut to the correct angle. Uh, albeit not being glued together. So the only part of the kit that discrete heat doesn't provide is the glue and activator kit, which can be picked up from anywhere. So it's a two part glue and activator kit. And what we're gonna do is put a little slither of glue on one side. We're gonna do the same on the other side, a little tiny slither of glue, the little smallest amount. We're gonna activate one side like that. We're then gonna glue these two together to give us that pretty perfect angle. And then we're gonna leave that now and move on to the next one while that cures. The next one's the external corner, also another odd angle. So the first thing I've done is cut, cut the two pieces in half. We're again gonna get the side snips and cut us the angle that we need. We're then gonna do the opposite side. Offer it up and have a look. Okay, that's not too bad. We're gonna do the same as we've done with the previous one. A little bit of glue. Same on the other side. And once that's activated, we're gonna leave that so this is the most common one, it's the internal corner. Again, we'll snip that in half. We're gonna cut this straight across, about five degrees. We're gonna offer the next piece in. And we're also gonna do the same with that. Bit of glue. Just give that a little turn again to set. So this is an external corner, slightly different to the internal, it's just the opposite way around. So again, we're gonna put the tin snips in here. We're gonna snip it, the opposite angle to the internal, glue it together. A little bit of glue on one side. Glue these together. Try not to glue your fingers to the gasket. All together. Cool. 
it should look something like that. 